What is up, everybody? Uh, today I found out that the main singer of the Beatles died. Even though I wasn't really a good fan of the Beatles, but I feel I feel their loss of need because it's their main singer, and you know. Beatles were a legend rock group back then in the 60s, the 70s, all the way up to the 80s, and so on. And people are still enjoying their music. And, you know, it said that he died at, I think at the age of 83, I believe. Man. Died at the age of 83. You know, he was, he was a good singer, you know. Even though I didn't care too much for their music. They played a song called Monkey and Around. I don't know if y'all heard it. But I've heard it a few times on the radio this morning. On my way home. And even though I don't really like the music, but you know, he had so much talent of his time, you know, he could have probably done more with it at his age. Because even if you're 83 years old, you can still do things. I don't care. The thing with it is, excuse me, the thing with it is, is that when you tend to see to look at things differently at life, you know, at, you know, with certain celebrities, you know, people that aren't even celebrities, you know, when they when people die, you know, you just wonder, you know, where does they go? You know, where do they go? You know, that's a mystery to explain after they die. Um, but another thing is, you know, Kentucky. Um, of all the people that died through the tornado and everything else, I don't have nobody in Kentucky. In Missouri. I mean, I don't have no relatives, as far as I know of, that live there. So, <laughs> when, when you want to, you know, the thing of it is, the people come together when there is a bad, bad, a tornado or people come together when there is a bad hurricane storm you know that's what always gets me about our country you know it's because we grow strong we grow to be you know be together in times of need for the ones that really need it Sad shame for all those people that died in last night's tornado. I mean, we I had around my area, I had all kind. We had all kinds of tornado warnings. We had strong winds on my way home. I seen some trees blowing over. Two, three, four different trees blowing over. Trash cans. People's trash cans blown over on the other side of the road. So, and, and, and everybody comes together in, in a small town, and you know, we just help out, help the neighbors out.
on its own. Especially if they need cleaning up, help needing to get things clean. That's what small town communities do. Now, I would say it's probably different in the city. City people, all they want to do, you know, city people, all they want to do is just worry about themselves. But when you live in a small town community and everything, um, everybody gets together and helps out. And they realize, oh, you're part of the town. Oh, what's your name? You know, then your name gets known. And, and that's the thing. Most of the time, most of the people around my town, we get together and we help the community out. No matter what the cost is. And with, you know, me being as a young adult, you know, still kind of growing up still. It kind of, when I was watching the news, and I, I've seen everybody, you know, on um, watching the news on the Kentucky tornado that hit. And I've seen on the news that everybody in that city, everybody in this town, state, whatever it, whatever it is, um, they ended up, you know, coming together helping each other out, you know, try to see if there's any survivors, and, you know, it's a sad, it's a sad day, sad day from Berserk, because I knew, <laughs> all day yesterday, yesterday morning, I, I kind of knew it. And, well, I didn't knew it, but I knew something was going to be wrong. When the weather was nice, and we had some cool air in between, it was cloudy, and I just knew something was going to be wrong. And it was just very, very still. And usually when it's still like that in Missouri, that is a sign of tornado weather. So, I knew something was going to happen, but I just didn't know what. Like, you know, you get that gut feeling, you know something's going to happen, but you just don't know what it is, but you just know what's going to happen. I get that quite often. And, and it's just weird. <laughs> so, I called up everybody I knew and just make sure they're all safe, make sure they're okay. And, you know, just checked up on them. And around my area that I knew of, you know, because it was calling tornado warnings around my area where I live at. So, I was going up to everybody, you know, telling them, you know, are you guys okay, you know, just check calling, check up and on the end. I texted them, and I pretty much just told myself, okay, I have nothing to worry about, they're fine, so, that's how I did it, you know, I just called people up, started texting people, and made sure, you know, everybody's okay, the ones I do know of. And especially when there's tornadoes, storms out like that. And so, other than that, you know, it's just a sad day for Missouri, you know, knowing that the main singer, I don't can't remember his name, but uh, the the Beatles, he died of 83, and then 
the uh, deaths of Kentucky through the tornado. So, I would, you know, respect the life you have. Respect the life you have and, you know, cherish the life you have right now. Because you never know. You never know when your last day is going to be. No, I cherish mine every morning, every afternoon, every evening. No, I cherish mine every time I get up. You know, hey, you know, if I can get up out of bed after sleep, then I'm blessed. So, count your blessings, people. Count your blessings. So, McDonald Fuller signing out hit subscribe hit the bell notification and hit all on all of it notification you'll get all my videos and everything else and stay tuned for my next video peace